Icy ground like I have here behind me is extremely dangerous. One slip can have you tumbling down a mountain or falling awkwardly and injuring yourself. Spikes or traction aids can be lifesavers on icy or slippery ground, and I bring them on almost every trip that I do in the spring and winter time. They're extremely effective and will essentially allow you to walk on ice. Today I want to compare the super popular Catula Micro Spikes to a very affordable, extremely affordable budget option off of Amazon to see if it's worth paying almost 10 times as much for the Catulas versus the budget option. First, let's quickly run through some specs for both spikes. We have the Catulas on the left and the Amazon budget option on the right. For the Catulas, they cost $75 US, whereas on Amazon, you can pick up spikes for anywhere from $6, which is crazy, up to $20 or more. They both weigh about the same at just over 380 grams. The Catulas have four sizing options and can accommodate anything from a women's size six to a men's size 14. With the Amazon option, there are three sizes accommodating women's five to men's 13. The Catulas come with a two-year warranty, while the Amazon budget options come with a one-year warranty. And I think it's worth noting that the Amazon options are all drop shipped by Amazon companies based overseas. Whereas with Catula, while they still manufacture overseas, they're a small team based in Flagstaff, Arizona, and they test and design all of their gear right there. There's three different topics I wanna to address with the spikes, durability, ease of use, and comfort, and then traction. Starting off with durability, I've been using the Catula spikes and the Amazon spikes for decades, and I actually haven't had problems with either, but perusing the reviews on REI and Amazon, I found that there's two areas that fail the most on spikes. The first spot, is where the chains attach to the harness. Those eyelets will sometimes rip out or just fail completely. And then the other spot is at these loops where the stainless steel chains attach to the plates that the spikes are on. And each spike uses different methods in order to address those two problems. With the Amazon spikes, where the chain attaches to the harness, they make the material quite a bit thicker in hopes that that'll prevent the chain from ripping out of the harness. With the Catula spikes, they actually have a patented method of dealing with that problem. They have a reinforced TPU eyelet that's integrated into the harness material. And they told me that since they introduced this feature, they haven't had basically any eyelets ripping out of the harness. And that's awesome innovation and something that I really like to see from companies. For the loops where the chain attaches to the spike plates, the Amazon spikes don't really do much in order to address that problem. But the Catula spikes, they use 10 to 20% thicker stainless steel compared to the Amazon spikes. And that's for the entire product. That's not just for the loops that attach the chains, that's for the chains and the spikes. Catula's also done a lot of design at this point in order to make it so that it's gonna fail as little as possible. And with both spikes, I think the biggest issue where we're seeing durability issues is when people are buying a size that isn't right for the boot or shoe that they're using with the spikes. When you have a poorly fitting spike, they're gonna be loose on your shoe. And as you're walking up really hard ice, that's gonna be creating a lot of torque on all these connection points. As well as you're walking, you could have some weird overlap that occurs, especially at these loops that attach the plate to the chain. And that could result in some torque that results in that point failing. Overall, I think the Catula spikes are a lot better made. They just feel more durable and have addressed some of those points of failure but the big thing is just make sure that you're buying spikes that fit your foot as far as ease of use and comfort both spikes are fairly easy to use the amazon ones use a silicone material for the harness which is very very stretchy and it makes it very easy to put the spikes on as well as take them off some of the amazon spikes also come with a velcro strap that goes across the top of the foot there in order to help it keep in place a little bit better the katula ones don't have that but i find it's unneeded because they've designed the harness so well and it has such good coverage over the forefoot of your shoe that it just stays locked in really easily. I also find that the stretchier silicone material that the Amazon spikes use makes it so that you do get more shifting of the harness and the spikes on your foot and sometimes you don't get the most snug fit on your shoe or boot. Whereas the Catula spikes are made with a TPE that's a little bit stiffer. It makes it slightly harder to get on and off but I think it locks the harness onto your shoe or boot a little bit better. As for traction, I've been A-B testing the spikes. I've had one on my left foot, one on my right foot, and I've noticed a difference in traction, and that's because of a few different factors. Some of the similarities between the two is that both use 11 to 12 millimeter spikes, so that's a good length to get good grip on ice or hard packed snow. The Catula spikes have 12 spikes on the bottom here, eight at the front, four on the back, whereas most Amazon spikes have 20 or more spikes on there and there seems to be an arm race on Amazon with how many spikes they can fit onto one of these traction aids but does having more spikes actually help or does it hinder surprisingly more spikes isn't always better the benefit of having fewer spikes is that it doesn't spread the load out between each spike as you're stepping down so you get more pressure onto the ice or compact snow which is going to provide more grip for you as well a lot of these Amazon spikes have multiple spikes 
in a circular pattern on each of the plates. And while that seems like it's gonna be beneficial for traction, and it works on ice pretty well, when you get into hard, compact snow or you're going through slush, then those are gonna start picking up a lot more snow. Think of it like taking a cup and turning it upside down and putting it into some snow. If that snow is just a little bit sticky, as you pull the cup out, you're gonna have a whole bunch of snow that's been locked inside of the cup. The same thing is happening with these little clumps of spikes on the Amazon spikes. With the Catula spikes, you only have spikes on the outside of each plate, so you don't have that cupping effect happening. I've actually found a difference with how much less snow sticks to the bottom of the Catula spikes compared to the Amazon spikes. And I've noticed a little bit of extra traction and grip with the Catulas because of the fewer spikes and the more pressure that I'm getting and putting onto ice. Both spikes are gonna be super helpful on both ice and hard packed snow. The Catulas just have some design considerations that make them slightly better. If you're only going out in conditions that require spikes once or twice a year, then consider the Amazon option. They're a great budget option. Whereas if you want a product that's a little bit more polished and it's gonna be more durable and it's designed by people who are passionate about traction devices, then consider shelling out for the Catula spikes. A bonus with Catula is that they support a ton of different conservation initiatives, 1% for the planet, and are a carbon neutral company. If you're interested in a more ultra light option for spikes, go check out this video where I review the Black Diamond Blitz spikes. They've been really impressing me for how lightweight and compact they are. It's over on my gear priority channel. Go check it out and consider subscribing to that channel too.